Evening folks, um, this evening I'm down in Bude with Darren, he's just over on the other side of the pool, we're at the sea pool. Um, we've come down to get some minimalistic uh, long exposure shots of the, the railings and the pool itself. I haven't been to Bude for quite a while, a um, couple of years. Uh, and yeah, I didn't, I completely forgot this place was even here, to be honest. And I only saw a photo of it on Instagram the other day and I thought, ooh, that would be nice to go down and, and get a few shots of. So, um, I'll take you through what I'm shooting in a second. And, uh, yeah, there's something a bit abstract tonight. We'll see how it comes out when we get back. So, this is my composition. Um, I've got the pool wall going up from the right hand corner with the uh, railings just on the top side. Doing a, a lot of different exposure times, doing 30 seconds, 2 seconds, 10 seconds, just to get some patterns and waves in the, in the water and just to see how it all comes out. Um, I'll probably pick one or two when I get back and see how they look like. The long exposure shots are looking very minimalistic and quite nice for some artwork on your wall or something like that. But this is the sea pool at Bude. Um, sunset is in a bit. I don't know whether we're going to get much, but there's a little break at the bottom, so we could get some colour in the cloud. It's looking a bit moody up there, so. If there is and it kicks off, it would be quite, it could be quite nice. Uh, got my 70 to 200 on, just to get that extra focal length onto the uh, railings at the end there. But yeah, it's nice here. Yeah? There's a couple of other photographers down there. Darren's over there. And then there he is. He's getting his shot, he's waiting for sunset. But there's lots of different compositions here to be had. Um, there's a little set of railings over there, just here. Uh, it looks a bit like a shopping trolley. Um, but makes a nice abstract shot. So yeah, there we go. That's tonight's view. This isn't going to be a long vlog, I don't think. Just uh, to show people where we are tonight and what we're doing. Right over here you've got Viewed Harbour. The Harbour Woods, some guys surfing over here. I remember I came down here when I was a kid for an adventure training week. And they tried to teach us to surf here and I had no chance, I was rubbish. So I just ended up swimming. But yeah, it's uh, 
bit of a grey evening which is exactly what we wanted really we didn't want any harsh sunlight or anything like that so I don't want to get down here that's a good I want to get this lead in line with these ratings here but the sea is coming in um, and it's crashing over quite a bit so it's quite dangerous not exactly dangerous it just means I could get wet and I didn't bring any spare clothes with me so <laughs> yeah I will be getting wet kind of thing we're doing tonight. So I'm only shooting with um, my six stop filter on. Don't need any grads because I'm not up on the sky or anything like that. But it's quite a cool little place. I like it. So um, I've moved around to the other side of the pool now. Uh, still shooting that same rail but from a different direction. Uh, Darren's over there shooting the same rail, um, probably getting the same composition that I had just a minute ago. Uh, don't think we're going to get much of a sunset. It's set already. Um, there's a little bit on the horizon, but the cloud's too thick and yeah, there's no light going to get through tonight. But that's alright, I'm not in it for the sunset tonight. It's all about the greyness and the minimalistic stuff anyway, so... Uh, yeah, it's been quite nice. Good to get up. It's nice for a Monday. <laughs> so yeah, bank holidays and that. It's great. So Darren got a shot here um, with the, the cliff facing and this railing as a lead-in. I think he wanted that for sunset, but as we're not going to get one, he's moved across to the other side of the pool. Um, the needing there is quite good, but 
I'm not going to bother getting the shot. I'm not keen on all this uh, fluffy stuff in the middle there. If you can see that, it's it'll probably just like a big blob in the middle of the photo and not really keen. It might disappear in a minute. If it does, I'll, I'll give it a go, but if not, um, no harm done. There's always plenty of time to come down for another shot. But I think somebody's just got wet. One of the uh, other photographers who's over there. I think it's a German lady and her daughter and their dog. Sorry for that, down has got wet again. He's already got wet once. Bless him. <laughs> Right, all done for the night. I've got a couple of shots I'm happy with. Darren's got a couple of that he's happy with. The light's really starting to fade and it's getting a bit dark and I'm a little bit scared now. I don't like the dark. No, I'm only checking. I'm a big boy. Um, there's a little bit of pinkness on the horizon, but I don't think anything's going to happen. So we're going to call it a night and go home and have a cup of coffee. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.